Okay, so in this video, um, I'm just going to walk you through the section on formatting in the Trustbook Media WordPress blog. Um, you can watch someone else's YouTube video, and I'm just going to show you how quickly this can be done. So things that you want to have open, um, I'm actually going to set the timer now so you can see, uh, you know, the time frame that the task should take. So you want to have um, the checklist open if you're doing this for the first time. You want to have the blog article that you want to put together, um, our YouTube channel to um, if just to double check that things are opening. And then, of course, either the Canva uh, file of the blog title image or if somebody already put it in Google Drive, you know, that's fine, too. So uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to just go into WordPress and I'm going to go to the most recently published blog. OK, so that would be this one. Um, the way I think it's faster is just clone, clone the one that was done previously, and then take the clone and we're going to click edit uh, to update the um, the content, right? So here we're going to get the content. This is a blog post that we are looking to publish. Um, the keyword is right here, building a building successful law firm. And um, this is the title. So I'm just going to edit copy the title. And I'm going to update um, the one that I just cloned. So we're just going to, you know, the font sizes all, are already done. And then we're just going to go one by one and update here. The focus keyword uh, that was listed is building successful law firm. Um, so we're going to update that, right? And you can, you can see um, the description is different. So actually you could clone it or you could do a new one because then when you clone it, you got to really make sure that all the things updated correctly. Um, so here on the right side, it's already under law firm owner spotlights. This is a law firm owner story. Now the featured image uh, we need to replace. So when you go in Canva, you'll see in the um, checklist. Now when we do this in WordPress, we want to make sure that the images are minimized or compressed. We don't want big images because we don't want our site to be too bloated. So you want to just save it as an SVG file. So here's the um, here's the title and we want to download this um, just page one. Uh, so we always have the latest, the most recent as page one so it's easier to find. And then uh, we are going to not choose PNG. We're going to click this and um, save it as an SVG file. Okay, so I will download that. And at the same time, I'm going to, um, because nor sometimes the YouTube one itself, and by the way, when this downloads, we're going to um, title this the same as um, the blog, right? Building a successful um, law firm with Rebecca Edelman. Okay. So when we do this, it, it would automatically populate later in YouTube and um, as an image alt tag in WordPress, but you want to always still double check anyway. So I'm going to download um, the PNG file as well because we're going to need that for YouTube. Um, sometimes a YouTube one has been done, so you want to double check that. Uh, just in this case, it actually hasn't been done yet. Uh, I probably should have just edit copied it from um, the last one. So now I have to do it again. So building a successful law firm. Here we go. Uh, it's also easiest if, okay, we're not going to, um, do you want to replace it? No. So we're not going to save this as an SVG file. So we're not going to name it that way. Um, now it's also easier if the if the image itself was was saved this way, but uh, the person who did this actually did it wrong. Um, each they're supposed to do it at each slide. So here you're supposed to have a, an option to save this. But anyway, um, we'll correct that later. So we save that as an SVG file. We're going to go back to WordPress. We're going to replace this and we're going to go to upload files and we're going to um, select the SVG file that we downloaded, which is, uh, this is PNG. We'll go to downloads. All right, what's going on? Where's the SVG file? Um, I'm gonna go to downloads again. All right. 
I want all files and maybe we didn't name this. Oh, here we go. Okay. Ah, uh, you're not allowed to upload this file. Grr. Hmm. What did we do here? Um, so we're going to try this again. We are going to best for web design. We're just going to do page one. Okay. So let's try saving this again. Um, it's an SVG. Whoops, SVG. I'm just going to name it something different so I can find it. Rebecca Edelman. Okay. So now let's go here. We're going to go to all files and I'm not seeing, let's try this here. Uh huh. Custom files, all files, SVG. That should open. Okay, you're not allowed to upload this file type. Hmm. All right, I'll have to redo the. Um, the tutorial then on how to how to do that so did we save all right well let's for now we'll update the other one i mean we'll update how to compress it but for now i guess we'll just use this one right the png file okay so now that you're in the png file you want to make sure the the alt text is done for the keyword so building um a successful law firm all right, I'm just going to edit copy this because I might have to use it again. Um, that's the title. All right, so the image alt tag is done. Compression level. Uh, let's compress it at, let's set this as high. Medium? Where is high? Why can't I find high? Uh, there we go. Okay, now I, I just zoomed out. So I'm going to do high and I'm going to set the featured image. Okay, great. So that one is set. So we're here on the right. Now writing an excerpt um, is optional, but here we're going to update this here. Um, and then we got to update the slug. So <laughs> it's up to you if you want to do it as a new blog post or, or not. So the slug is here, building a successful law firm um with Rebecca Edelman. Maybe we'll make that shorter. Let's make that shorter. Okay. That one's kind of kind of too long. So this would be whoa. Building a whoops. Building a success. Whoops successful law firm with Rebecca Edelman. Okay, so I'm going to check my spelling looking up here. Um, so the slug, let's just do a shorter link. Okay. Uh, so this, let me see here. We're just going to take this beginning part and we're going to put that in the meta description. All right. Why did it only pick up from Tennessee? Oh, because I didn't do that. All right. I'm going to try edit copying again. So you really have to have an attention to detail, an eye for detail. Um, Okay, so we want to have the keyword building a successful law firm. Shares her experience. Um, 
So maybe we'll add like spotlight on law on um, law firm owner on building a successful law firm. And then I might just shorten this insightful. All right, so now I've got building a successful law firm in the meta description. So um, that's also helpful to do on page SEO. Okay, so I have this. Now I'm going to save the draft. Okay, I'm going to click save, then I'm going to go back. Um, so this meta description is matching um, the updated one. And I'm going to go back and edit the rest of the content. So here I'm going to grab um, the rest of, of this, right? I'm going to just edit copy here. All right. So while Elementor is loading, here we go. We are going to change all of this. All right. So I've got, um, watch the interview here. Okay. I'm going to take that, edit, copy this. Now her YouTube interview is right here and we actually didn't update that. So now we got to go back because this one is, um, it doesn't have the uh, the thumbnail. So we're going to click on edit. Um, so this is um, building a successful law firm with Rebecca Edelman. Okay, so Lessons from Rebecca Edelman's journey. Lessons from Rebecca Edelman's journey. Okay, so back on the checklist, um, actually step four was just to um, do this, upload the approved thumbnail design, add the description. So learn more about Rebecca Edelman and then learn more about Yun Cannon, right? So we're going to at least take the Yun Cannon part and we're going to go here. Um, so learn more about Rebecca. Make sure you spell her, their names right because they don't like that when you spell it wrong. Um, so then I would take the same uh, triangle thing. Okay. And then I'm going to grab her LinkedIn link right from the article. Okay. So here's her LinkedIn link. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to put it right here. Learn more about Rebecca Edelman. I'm going to take her link to her website. I'm going to copy that and put it right here. Okay. So learn more about Rebecca, learn more about Yun, and that is a save. Okay. So now I'm going to save the, um, I'm going to save the, I got to upload the uh, YouTube thumbnail. Okay. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to upload the thumbnail here. I already downloaded it. So there you go. So I'm going to save that. Okay. And since I'm publishing it today, I'm also going to update the publish date. So let's see here. Visibility. Today is February 20th. So it's right now 8.56 a.m. I'm going to publish it for um 30 minutes ago let me see here 8 30 a.m okay so 8 30 a.m all right 
so it should have published in the past. Or maybe it just updates. All right. So we have, um, so that is saved. Okay. Um, now we go back and we need to grab this link, which is the same link in the Word doc of the YouTube link, because we got to update this YouTube link right here. So we go back in here and where it updated, I just click, whoops, so I on this here. Mm, where is that? There's a spot where you update. Is this the same link? Well, I'm very excited to be it here is. today with Rebecca Adel. Okay. Where did it go? Where we can I update want the to link. Provide that service. I'll All right, normally it pops up here. Okay, I found it. So when you'd clone a previous one, it's uh, you, you hover on this video and you click on this um, pencil and you can edit the video link, right? So instead of uh, Rusty's video, we're gonna put in Rebecca's video. So now her video is going to load. Yahoo. Okay. Um, so we are going to show the player controls. And um, let's see, there should be a save button. All right. Now we're going to fix the um, first. Okay. So this is all rusty here. All right. So you have to exit out of that. So let's see. We'll go back and what happens after the interview, um, the watch here interview, embracing change. We're gonna just grab this and the questions. So I know I, I pasted it earlier. So we're gonna take this, whoa, wait a minute. We're gonna delete that, okay. And um, we pasted it there, okay. So now, I already double did that, right? So embracing change, we just got to go back. And whoa, before the embracing change. So watch interview here. We're not going to include the link because the interview is going to populate. And now, now that's uh, more correct. Okay, so now we got to go back and make sure all the links are opening in a new tab. So we're going to click on Edelman here. Uh, which is the content. So if you click on this link, you click on the edit. Now you got to do um, that gear icon, open link in new tab, because we don't want the users to leave our, um, our website. Now there's too much white space there, so you just got to fix the formatting. Um, and then I, I want to check, this is coming up paragraph. Okay, we want them to all be H, H3 tags. All right, is that showing up H3? Maybe a little bit bigger. H2 tags. All right, and then we have, all right, maybe we'll keep it H3, see, what, see how it looks. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take all the sections bolded. Now, this is another link, so we gotta do that again. Edit the link, gear icon, click on open link and new tab. Okay, so then we're just gonna um, look through here and if it's too much spacing, I'm just gonna hold down the shift key, move it up, move it down so it's not as bad. So right now this is listed as paragraph, we wanna make that H3 and then um, we're going, I just hold down the shift key again. Oh gosh, that, was supposed to come up, not bold. All right, hang on. This is not, we don't want heading. We want this to be paragraph. 
Okay. So I'm just going to backspace, hold down the shift key, and then add a little line. Now this entrepreneurial spirit, I'm going to do the same thing. Open this in new, new tab. Um, I'm going to hold down the shift key. All right. And this one also should be H3. Okay. And let's see. I'm going to bring this up a bit. Watch interview here. Okay. So I fixed the links there. Now I'm going to go in this section. Um, embracing change. Is this H3? It's coming up paragraph. All right. So then we've got client acquisition and brand building. We're going to do the same thing. Make sure that you hit that gear icon, opens in a new tab. And then um, work life balance. We're going to make that H3. Challenges and opportunities. We're going to make that H3. Key takeaways. Okay. It's a little bit too much white space. Okay, I'm going to bring this up. And if I'm looking at how the blog view is, this is too crunched. So I'm going to give more white space there. And there you go. Okay. Um, now how does it look when it's going to be published. There you go. So the videos, uh, that's the title and then that's the video. Okay. So this is ready to publish. Um, you want to hit save. Okay. So I'm going to hit this publish button. And then I should have, um, now I need the, to grab the link that it published and put it on the doc so we can promote it on LinkedIn. Okay, so you wanna just make sure everything um, gets one final look over. And I'm just going to the Trust Media blog post. I see this populates Rebecca Edelman. The meta tag description is um, correct as far as it goes with her blog. And I'm just skimming through this to see if there's um, anything that I may have missed. And um, then I'm just gonna grab this link and I'm gonna, you, you wanna put that on your Excel sheet because the next thing we need is I need to come up with a LinkedIn um, post to create, right? So I do that. Um, right now I do that, but you know, I would like to train you on how to do that. So when I come up with um, what to post, I need the actual link. Okay, so I'm looking at the timer and right now it took 24 minutes um, to just do the, the blog as a clone method and updating all that. Um, so there's the video on how to create the blog portion.